G'day YouTube, it's Turbo Tristan here, and I bet you're probably wondering what's been going on with the Evo. So in today's video, we're gonna show you what's been happening with the Evo. Little things, but we're making progress. We're nearly on the home straight. So let's check out what we've got done to the Evo. As you guys know, we always run Zestino tires on all of our cars and the Evo is no different. I mentioned this from day one, as soon as I got this car that we we're gonna put some Zestinos on there. And the reason was the tires, unfortunately, which are almost brand new, they've still got the furry bits on them. Those little rubber bits that stick out the side. They have nails and stuff all through them. So these are coming off by putting on the Zestinos. Now these are, I believe, Evo eight wheels and we are running a 215 45 17 in the Gredge 07RS. Now the S is the more soft, more sticky, more grippy tire. First time ever using these, so I'm really, really excited to try them. I'm not worried about tire wear as this is a street car that's not gonna get driven too often, but when it does, and when it does go to the twisties or up in the hills or whatever it is that Evos do, it's gonna have plenty of grip, which is what you want in your all wheel drive car. So I'm gonna get these wheels off change them out to the Zestino tires. I'll show you what they look like once they're on. You won't be able to tell the difference from here, but I'll definitely be able to feel the difference and I'll show you the difference uh, once they're on anyway. Thanks again to Zestino Australia for hooking me up with a sweet deal on these. If anyone is looking for some Zestino tires, Zestino has a large range of tires for all different applications. They're quite popular with drifting, quite popular with grip racing, and also they're quite well known and very popular in the rallying game. So if you know anyone that needs some tires, or if you want some tires for yourself, hit me up on the Spool Up website, info at spoolup.com.au, and I'll be able to give you guys a price on these. Supply only, no fitting, none of that deal. Uh, tell me your size, everything like that that you want and the spec, and I'll get a price for you. Email you back and we can organize a deal to get you guys a cheap set of awesome tires. So as you've just seen, we are running Zestinos on all of our cars. So massive, massive shout out to Zestino. And we've got these fitted up to the Evo now. These are the RS compound. So these are gonna be super duper grippy for any hills runs or any cruising or any twisties or whatever we wanna do with this car. I cannot wait to try these out, especially with all the other mods we've got, which are all gonna complement each other. So that's really, really exciting. Let's take it down and see what we've done in the engine bay because a little bit's going on in there. Since the last video on the Evo, a couple of little things have changed. I've been doing little bits and pieces here and there. Some things you might not have seen is I've made up the catch can lines, mounted the catch can, you would have seen that, but I've mounted the lines and uh, they're dash 10 off the rocker cover. And I've got to just finish plumbing up the oil cooler from the bottom. I've got all new lines for that now. And I've gone ahead and fitted a battery tray. Now this battery tray is from Shift Performance. It's a rally art style battery tray, a design that moves the battery from here to here, gets everything out of the road. Now I was gonna custom make one of these myself and whatnot and design it up and cut it out and all that sort of stuff. It would have taken me basically a whole day. I would have spent some time on it. It would not have been this nice. This is mass produced and it looks awesome. Comes with all the hardware and bolts straight in and it's got all the provisions for the battery tie down there. Now the battery that I'm gonna be using is an Endurant. Now Endurant's been on the market for quite a while. Not too well known here in Australia, but you can pick these up from Federal Batteries. The reason why we're going with this one is it's not a horrible bright color, blue or yellow or anything like that. That's not the main reason, but these have a fantastic warranty. They're nice and lightweight, more than enough cold cranking amps that we need. It's gonna fit in the location and yeah, lightweight, uh, even though this is a regular lead acid battery, is only 12 kilos, fully sealed. Everything about it is nice. So we're gonna stick this one in here and that is from Federal Batteries. Ask for an Endurant battery. They're not a super cheap battery. They're not a horrible color battery. And these have a fantastic reputation in the Australian market and I have been looking forward to using them for quite a while. So I'm glad we're gonna stick one in here. This is a street car. We don't need ultra, ultra lightweight. We don't need gel cell. We don't need any of that fancy stuff. This is gonna be a car we're gonna just use to cruise to meets and everything. So we wanna just keep it 
out of the way, low key. Thanks so much to Endurant and Federal Batteries for hooking up the battery for the Evo project. There'll be more information down in the link below. So in the engine bay, we've made quite a bit of progress, although it still looks incomplete, which it is. However, we have fitted in the new alloy radiator. As you guys may or may not remember, the old one was full of muddy water and we fully cleaned out and refreshed the engine and we don't want to put a gunky old scummy radiator back in there. So we've gone with a brand new alloy core and I've had a custom fan shield made, which is running this spowl fan, which I actually had laying around. This is much lighter than the factory fan, much bigger, and it's gonna pull through a lot more cold air from the front of the car, through all the coolers, and then out into the engine bay. So that is gonna help out a lot with cooling now that we're gonna have extra heat in the engine bay due to extra power. And a massive shout out to Next Level Fabrications. My mate, Matty, he did all the fab work. Now this is an Evo 6 radiator. You may think the only difference is the hoses are in a different location. However, it is the tabs at the bottom are in a little bit of a different spot, so they had to be moved out slightly, so expanded out. And he had to make a fan shroud for there because I wasn't gonna run that massive, heavy, crappy, rusty old fan again that probably didn't do a great deal. Next thing you'll see, I've mounted up the Endurant battery. Now that is from Federal Batteries. These are the bee's knees of batteries and we ran through a little bit of that earlier. All the cold cranking amps you could ever need. It's small, it's compact, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, and it's fully sealed, so just a really nice high quality battery with a fantastic warranty. I'll put a link in the description below all about this battery, and a shout out to Federal Batteries for hooking that up for us, because the old one used to die all the time. Normally the battery sits here in the air boxes there, but I've swapped things around so we can have a nice short run to the pod filter, which is gonna live here. So that is a nice piece from Shift Performance. I've fitted up the gear shifter linkage, which has been zinc coated. All the bolts again, zinc coated. Even the little clip here has been zinc coated. That's all thanks to Baz at Springy Performance. Yeah, that's all put back together now. All works, feels really, really nice and smooth. And I had my friend Christopher whip me up on his lathe some stainless steel spacer washers, which go in here. Stops it moving around. I'm not sure what was in there to start with. I'm told it was some kind of rubber or a plastic bush that was all deteriorated and just disappeared. So we had to get some custom stainless steel ones made up on the lathe. So that is excellent. That is all going ahead. So. The next thing I need to do, and hopefully you guys can help me out, is I've got to source some heater hoses. The old ones I took off were really cruddy and crusty, and I just ripped them off, so I need the two heater hoses, and I'm just gonna fix up this little breather hose here. And then there's a slight bit of wiring, and then it's off to next level fabrications for custom intercooler pipes. I really want the intercooler pipes to come up here and then over and down just so it clears the intake on the intake to run under the pipes if I can. Um, worst case, I do it the other way around, but I just want it all nice and neat here and out of the road in two and a half inch. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should continue to run the HKS SQV that came on the car. It did sound pretty cool, but no blower valve or the HKS blower valve. What do you guys reckon? Let me know in the comments below. But she's going back together. We'll stuff that back in there so no dust gets inside. All the fuel lines are done. All of the oil catch can lines are done. So that's a stainless braid over nylon, which is a really good product from Raceworks. Bunged off the EGR stuff for the exhaust manifold. Everything's back in. All the aircon pipes are all being done needs to be obviously regassed. And I'm waiting on two fittings, which I couldn't get anywhere else. I'm waiting for them from another company. And then I'm gonna finish up the oil cooler and I can chuck some oil in it, chuck some water in it. And then we are one step closer to getting this thing fired up. The Haltech wiring loom is all in and clicked in. I've got to borrow the Haltech from my Civic and put it in the Evo to get that started. And while this is running and driving around, I'm enjoying this. I'll also be working on the next project with the Civic. So that's the beauty of a Haltech is you can share ECUs between cars. You can't drive two cars at once. It is, is a little bit annoying because you've got to go in and 
upload your map again every time you switch cars but it's literally two plugs and a vacuum line and you switch it back over so you know it saves you buying another couple of thousand dollar computer you just share it between all the cars save your map upload it off you go really really simple so i've got to get a vacuum port to the haltech which i've got to run and i've got to run the wideband wiring but that's all plugged in here the wideband o2 so i'll run that over through there somewhere and i'll find a way to get that into under the dash not really sure how that's going to go yet but it's going to go i could even maybe yeah run it up under the guard and in that way not sure i'll figure that out later zach's done it before he's going to come over and help me out speaking of zach zach helped me bleed up all the brakes and bleed up the exity clutch and the exity clutch feels amazing he said it feels way better than his pedal in his car just pumping it in and out so all the new protex fluid protex master slave the master for the brakes as well all feel amazing we've got protex fluid in there matching all the protex brakes and pads and rotors and everything so the exity clutch feels amazing and we've bled up all of the protex brakes so that is another thing we've done side skirts are back on it really really needs a clean i'm just waiting till everything's done in the engine bay before i put the bonnet back on because i don't want to risk bending it or you know banging my head on it and getting in the road that is where we are up to on the evo now there's going to be a really cool ice install video coming soon i'm not sure how cool it's going to be but we're going to do a lot of ice work that's in-car entertainment i've got a head unit apple carplay i've got a whole bunch of phone mirroring things to try out i've got a charger uh, that cools and it's all wireless and all that to go in here so we're going to modernize a bit of the sound system we're just going to get that done i'm not a wiring guy i'm not a tech guy but i like my music and we're going to make sure this thing has all the bopping tunes and we'll get that done in a future upcoming video as well plenty happening with the evo don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the evo coming soon and we're also doing the civic build behind me so don't forget to spool up bring the boost check out spoolup.com.au and we'll see you in the next one cheers